Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. I'm going to talk about Squid Grow, an update for this project that, yes, I'm still bullish on. People keep asking me in the Telegram chat. People are leaving comments on the videos. Are you still in Squid Grow? Um, are you still bullish on Squid Grow? I'm getting nervous about Squid Grow. Now, Squid Grow, uh, why are they saying that? Because the price has been falling since its high. All right, guys. But what I say to people is show me a chart that goes up in straight lines. Okay, guys, this is still in the low under 100 million market cap. So it's still technically classed as a micro cap altcoin. We're going to take a look at the Shiba Inu chart on coin market cap because this is being compared to potentially being the next Shiba Inu. All right, guys, and we know that Shiba Inu right now is about 6.5 billion in market cap, as it says right here. And that is after a huge pullback all the way up from these highs. Don't even know what the market cap was there, but I'm sure it was over 60 billion market cap at one point. All right, guys. Now, what you have to do is zoom into the charts. Okay, guys. So if we go like this, right, we can see these massive pumps and these pullbacks, massive pump and pullback. All right, guys. But what you have to understand is that these have been happening all the way along. See what this looks like is a flat line, right? But if you zoom in, what you'll see is multiple, multiple, right? Pumps and then pullbacks, okay? Pumps and then pullbacks, pumps and then pullbacks, pump, pump and then pullback, pump and then pullback, and once again, pump and then pull back. All right, guys. So what you have to understand is way down here, Shiba Inu was in the low micro cap zone, multiples of millions in market cap, right? So when I say that Shiba Inu, for example, uh, or Squid Grow, uh, better said, could be the next Shiba Inu, for example, right? We're looking at the long term potential, right? Um, mid to long term potential, because, you know, these things can pump like crazy, you know, in very short periods of time. So we're talking about a couple of months. We don't even know what the price of Squid Grow might be or what kind of pump we might see by the end of this year alone. So if you look at the Squid Grow chart, we've seen one little pump and pullback, two pump and pullback. And this is just basically the third pump right guys so it's not even it's not even broken 100 million market cap what we have to do is look at the longer term potential for this particular project and for me personally i'm bullish on the project yes the answer is yes all you have to do is go over to the website right and do what i'm doing is just buy it right unlock your wallet stake it right and chill okay stake and chill that is the strategy or my strategy for Squid Grow. In fact, stake and chill and buy the dips. Not financial advice, but I have been buying dips. I've been buying tops as well. Right? I've been buying it all the way up. Dollar cost averaging. I've been buying it as it comes down a little bit by bit. And if it comes down further, I will buy more potentially. Right. And what I'll do is I'll take it over here. I will unlock the wallet once again. And I will just stake and chill add it to the bag and just earn more squid grow some people are harvesting it right i've only just literally stayed i've been holding it for however long right you've seen me make videos i've been holding it and i neglected to stake my tokens but i have staked my tokens now and um yeah uh, my wallet is uh it's got a little bit of dust in there just to show that i am a holder right guys because obviously um the hold account is important if we go to bsc scan let's just have a look at the hold account at the time of recording this video so if we go squid grow um what is the hold account right now so the hold account is 11,399 addresses right if i state every single token in my wallet it would show 11,398 addresses rather than 11,399 because when you stake right it comes out of your wallet and into the contract and that's why it's good to hold just a little bit of squid grow in your wallet to show yourself as a holder and that basically just helps the hold account when people look they see that there's more holders right if 10,000 people stake in the contract and um, don't keep one in their address for example it's going to show 10,000 less addresses right here all right guys so in a nutshell am i still bullish on this project yes i am they've also got news they now have a tiktok account right so uh, if you are on TikTok, you can go and follow them. I am not on TikTok, so I'm not following them. But yeah, you can go and do that. This is the announcement of that. And it's actually verified straight away. Uh, they've got connections, which is a good thing. And uh, various news articles on Squid Grow are coming out. So more bullish news. All right, guys. It, uh, Shiba Inu, for example, didn't go to the multiples of billions in market cap overnight. Okay, guys. It took a while. And um, 
you know, you just got to be prepared to wait. If you are getting nervous or uncomfortable about the bag that you have in these pullbacks, you've probably got too much invested in the project. Uh, we know the saying, don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. And if you can't stomach a bit of downside because charts don't go up in straight lines, right? Um, you've probably got too much invested. You might need to scale a little bit out. But what you want to do is buy a bag that you're comfortable with, hold it for as long as possible to, uh, you know, maximize those gains. The founder of she uh, not Shiba Inu, Squid Girl, um, who is one of the top Shiba Inu whales or was one of the top Shiba Inu whales. The story is he put 8K into Shiba Inu, held it for 400 days, which turned into 5.7 billion. But um, he didn't make that money in two weeks, a month. All right, guys, he made it in 400 days. And uh, that's the strategy. She's got a hold. And, um, you know, hopefully, because we could be wrong, right? Squid Girl may not go to the moon, but I am convinced they will go to the moon. So my money is where my mouth is. I'm stating the contract and I'm earning additional tokens. So when it does go to the moon, I should be, you know, sitting pretty nice with the bag that I've got. And if I'm buying dips, right, taking advantage of these dips. And remember the straight line that I showed you on the Shiba Inu chart, right? All of this, there's a lot of price action in here. There's a lot of pumps and dumps in here, right? And um, this is basically the stage that we're in. This is nothing, right? And uh, this will soon become, in my opinion, will soon become part of this flat line when you zoom out. All right, guys, and when we see this thing go to the moon, all of this is gonna look like nothing on the chart when we're all the way up here in the potential hundreds of millions, multiples of billions in market cap. So very quick update on Squid Grow. That is the end of the video. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Tick the little bell for notifications when you subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the very next video.